Hi everyone, my name is Keshav Ramchandran and uh, this summer I spent uh, as an intern at CPFD Software and I'd just like to share a little bit about what I've done. So a little background about me, uh, I'm from Houston, Texas um, and I'm a rising senior studying chemical engineering at Texas A&M University in College Station. And uh, I've always been interested in cars and one thing that I always found fascinating was how they could use modeling software like CFD uh, to improve the, the car's performance on track. Um, but <clears throat> as I got older and chose chemical engineering as my field, I wanted to see if I could get into our equivalent uh, to that kind of space. And CPFD was an option. And I thought I really wanted to give it a shot and uh, see what it was like. And uh, I ended up working on some very, very interesting projects. Um, the first of which was a glycerol steam reforming application model. So generally in the U or globally, there is an abundance of uh, glycerol right now due to it being a byproduct of biofuel production. So all of this glycerol is just kind of sitting around and a lot of people have thought, hey, maybe we can uh, use that uh, and steam reform it and we can get hydrogen from it and use that uh, for a source of energy. So. <clears throat> Uh, we wanted to see in Barracuda if uh, this process was uh, modelable. And um, that started with a literature search. Uh, I found some uh, um, articles and uh, papers of people who have tried to do this process, both physically as well as in uh, other simulation software. So from all these different sources, I pulled reaction kinetics uh, and then just a model geometry uh, operating conditions, things of that nature. And the geometry was very simple. Kinetics was not too difficult. So I think this was a perfect uh, kind of first project for me, a good stepping stone into the world of uh, simulation. <clears throat> and um, after I had built the model, uh, verify the, you know, the bed fluidized properly and whatnot, uh, I just wanted to validate the model, uh, just looking at outlet composition uh, that was found by uh, actual experiments conducted, uh, as well as other simulations, and then comparing that to the ones I found in Barracuda. Um, and once that had all been validated, then I, you know, just changed operating parameters, like pressure, temperature, particle size, just to see how the model would respond, and if that also matched uh, what was found in research. And uh, in the end, we have a fairly complete model, I'd say, um, and there's an application model post written about that. Uh, that will be on the website soon. And I think anyone looking to get into this field uh, would be interested to see uh, this model. Uh, that way they can have, uh, you know, a, a, an easy way to see uh, how their real life process would respond before they actually go out and build it. Uh, and then the second application model I developed was for a conditioning tower. Uh, and these are cooling towers used in uh, cement plants, actually. Um, so all of the hot exhaust gas that comes from your calciner and your kiln needs to be cooled uh, so that it can be filtered of any fine particles and then uh, vented off into the atmosphere through a stack. So uh, the cooling that happens inside these conditioning towers happens evaporatively. Uh, you just inject water droplets uh, into the exhaust gas stream and uh, eventually after a certain distance or after a certain height, all of that water will have exchanged heat and evaporated. And you have a, a cooling that, uh, let's say, like in our model, we found that uh, it reduced a temperature from 450 Celsius to 250 Celsius, which is acceptable. Um, and again, I started this with the literature, uh, literature search, just trying to understand more about the cement production process as a whole and how the conditioning tower fits into that as well as understanding process conditions, uh, maybe a little bit of the chemistry that happens, uh, and is, uh, also learning about Barracuda's evaporation model, uh, because that's what we really wanted to point out in this application model, uh, that, that Barracuda is more than capable of modeling uh, such a process. And again, in the end, we have a full uh, application model right up of it, and anyone looking to model any sort of evaporative cooling uh, would be interested in seeing that. Here's an animation of the conditioning tower model. On the left side, I just have um, the particle temperature. And you can see that it decreases from about 723 Kelvin or 450 C to uh, 
250C at the exit. And I also have a model of the fluid or gas temperature on the right. Uh, and same, you see that temperature reduction. Uh, and this all happens evaporati uh, evaporatively, as I was saying. And overall, I think my experience with Barracuda has been extremely positive. Uh, this is my first simulation software that I've ever used, and um, I found it to be incredibly easy uh, from a user's standpoint. It took me about um, a week and a half to two weeks to complete all of the training. Um, and while there is still much for me to learn, uh, I think the learning curve is not too steep uh, for anyone. I think uh, there's an incredible amount of support available, whether that be from an actual staff member or from the website. Uh, there's also some great videos available that I've used numerous numbers of times. Uh, and in general, I think uh, it, 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 uh, it, a lot of the stuff that happens behind the scenes, if you're just looking at it from a, an engineering standpoint, you don't necessarily, um, you're not really concerned with that. While it's good to know how it works uh, behind the scenes, you can just kind of uh, open up the software, uh, put in your inputs, and trust that what you're getting is an accurate and good result. And um, yeah, overall, I think it was a really, really fantastic experience for me. Um, it's, it's given me a lot to think about uh, in the future. Uh, I had never really, again, had any experience with simulation or uh, things like fluidized beds and uh, this is all very new to me, but I have a lot more to be uh, curious about and look forward to learning more about uh, and hopefully staying involved with simulation in the future. So thank you. Appreciate it.